We don't want to do those. We stick right there. I know, and he knows. He can be doing one on the top too, right? Boom. Okay, more of those. Oh. It's missing from all of these, right? So that's rear-legged stance work, right? Let's do some poon sow and then boom. And you add double lop sow. Poon sow and I boom. You thought I was gonna do that one. I'm here and then right from here, I want my front foot. No, nope. boom. They go down there. All right, last up, Uncle, in his photo, the end of Chum Q, he brings his foot up like this, toe that way, and then he kicks, and then he goes down. Make sure that's recording. Vital. Yeah. So if I do it that way, all right, it's a bonger first, toes that way. That's a bonger. It's a sidekick. And then it whips. That's a slant kick. So the genius is to have the whole. And then we have the reverse rule in Iron Dog Gym. So if I go that way, right? Reverse rule has the bonger on the way back. That's just Iron Dog Gym. Right, Cali for Zen. Um, you guys can share it and say it's Wing Chun if you want. So Lung Ting said, all right, we'll take this, the base of the thrust for all of our kicks, which we do a couple times in the form. And then we have the two ways the leg can rotate at the end of the Chum Q form. We have the out falling step at the end of the Chum Q form. So Lung Ting said, I'm just gonna add that first one and then we'll have the vertical one in the middle. And we'll have this one go the other way to fit the two-third, one-third rule, also from Iron Dog Gym. What do you think, Isaiah? Any questions? Too late! No, you can ask me questions anytime.